In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to make summer blouse made in Irish lace technique. The size is 52. We are working on the front side of the project. We begin the work pattern in real size. Then we make some project in Irish lace technique. Then pin them on the pattern and join them together with help of the chaotic mesh. I will work in this way on the front side and on the back. Then I am going to work with right and left sides. And last stage is trim around the neckline. Then I will make trim for the shoulders and bottom part of the blouse. Trim consists of two rounds, single crochet. Let's take a look at the back side. This is the pattern of the front side of the blouse. Firstly, I make picture in real side, then pin it on a mat. In this case, I used small projects. How to make such project you can find in tutorial 33 of Irish Lace Lessons. Then we make trims like this and here. Now I show you how to make this trim. I continue working on this project. I remind you how to make such project you can find in tutorial 33 of Irish Lace Lessons. I will work with trim, yarn over the hook, make 5 double crochet into the each chain space. 1, 2, three, four, five, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, make double crochet, then five double crochet into the next chain space, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the stitch. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I have done double crochet stitches till this point. And let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the chain space, make a slip stitch. Well done. Chain through to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook into the threads. Work a slip stitch. Corners of work, chain of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over the hook, we we'll skip one, two, three, four, five, six, insert the hook into the seventh stitch, make double crochet. As you can see clearly, stitch the second stitch and it will be the third one. Chain of seven for the chain space. We'll skip one, two, three, four, five, six. Insert the hook into the sixth one. 
make double crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I have done a row of chain spaces. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn for new row. Make 8 double crochet into the each chain space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Continue working, make double crochet into the stitch. Continue working with each chain space. Make 8 double crochet. I have done the third row and pin it on the mat. Now I show you how to make the fillet mesh. Begin the mesh. I did a chain of 16. Make a chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Three of them are for chains to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the ninth chain stitch. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Make double crochet. Chain of two, one, two, yarn over the hook. We skip two chain stitches, insert the hook into the third one, and make double crochet. Chain of two, yarn over the hook, we skip two stitches, make double crochet into the third chain stitch. Chain of two, one, two. Yarn over the hook and double crochet into the third chain stitch. Chain of two, one, two. Yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the last chain stitch. Row one is ready. Corner the work, chain of five, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over the hook, make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row, chain of two, one, two. Make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row. Chain of two. And double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row. Two chains for the chain space and double crochet into the stitch of the previous row. Chain of two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch. Make double crochet. Continue working in this way as many rows as you need. The length of the mesh and the height you determine by yourself. I have done the fillet mesh. My swatch consists of five rows. Pin it. As you can see, I pinned the second project. And now I show you how to join them together in large piece of work. 
I will work with chaotic mesh for this I tore as a work. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop lateral, make a chain one, two. I pin the corner of the mesh, yarn over the hook. make double crochet and single crochet between the stitches yarn over the hook insert the hook into the chain space make double crochet then single crochet between stitches Turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop that will make a chain. One, two. I turn the work, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Chain one, two. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Make single crochet between stitches. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the petal of the flower, make double crochet. Chain one, turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Pull up the working loop, make a chain one, two, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain, turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Here how it looks. So continue working in this way till the end of the pattern. As you can see, firstly, I have made small pieces or small projects. Then I join them together and you should fill up all central part of the blouse. I remind you we are working on the front side. It is the front side of the blouse. As you can see, I fill it up all three places with small projects and mesh and fill it mesh. I leave two centimeters from the upper part. I don't fill up this space because this space uh, will be for the trim. The front side is ready. Now I continue working with back side of the blouse. This is the pattern for the back side. I did a picture in real size, pin it on a mat. Also, I made small projects for this. And here I have got beautiful back side of the, my blouse. Now I show you how to join them together. I will work in this direction 
Yarn over the hook. Make double crochet into the petal of the flower. Make single crochet between stitches. Turn the work. Make a chain. Remove the hook. Insert the hook into the chain space. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make double crochet. Make single crochet between stitches. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Chain one, two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make double crochet. Turn the work. Remove the pin. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain 1. Turn the work. 1, 2. Make single crochet. Chain 1, 2. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Turn the work, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain 1, 2, insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. So continue working in this way till the end of this row. I have done side seams. You can retouch it from the pattern and try it on. If it's okay for you, you can make a trim. For the neckline, I pin my blouse to the pattern and begin the work. I turn the work. I have done trim for one side. I divide this side on two small pieces. This is the bottom part. I'm going to work with flowers in this part. And here I will make fillet mesh. I begin from this point, insert the hook into the stitch, take the working loop with a throw. Let's repeat again. Chain of three, one, two, three. Remove the hook, we skip one, two, insert the hook into the third. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. Pull a little bit. Five and six. Seven. 
7 and 8. Insert the hook into the single crochet. Make a slip stitch. Pull up the working loop and I leave this part of the work. I pin my loop. This is the base for the petals. In this case I'm working with white color of yarn. I take my yarn, make a loop, insert the hook into the stitch, take the working loop, pull it through, chain of three, remove the hook, we skip one, two, three, insert the hook into the third, stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. Yarn over the hook, make double crochet into the stitch, one, two, into the same stitch, Yeah. Make three double crochet into the next stitch one. Two. And three. Yarn over the hook, make double crochet twice into the next stitch, one, and two, chain of three, one, two, three, remove the hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, Take the working loop, pull it through. The first petal is ready. Let's begin the next one. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Make a slip stitch into the next stitch. I turn the work. Let's make the next petal, chain of three, one, two, three, make double crochet twice, into the same stitch, one, two, Make double crochet twice into the next stitch. One. Two. Chain of three. Remove the hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Take the working loop. Pull it through. The second petal is ready. Let's make the next petal. Then you should continue by yourself. I have done four petals. We we'll skip one, two, three. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make a slip stitch. Pull up the working loop and pin it. The flower is ready. Now I will work with other color of yarn. 
pull a little bit. One, two chains. I insert the hook into the one, two, three into the third stitch. Take the working loop, pull it through. Yarn over the hook twice. We skip one, two, three. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make treble crochet. Pull up the working loop, remove the hook, insert the hook into the petal, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain. Make single crochet into the chain space. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, two rows of work, seven, eight, insert the hook into the stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. Remove the hook, I pin this loop. The base for the next flower is ready. The location of the flower you determine by yourself. Also, you can make more single crochet in this case and less or more petals in each flower. I will work with white color of yarn. Insert the hook into the loop. Insert the hook into the two loops. Take the working loop with a throw. Insert the hook into two loops, take the working loop, pull it through. Insert the hook into the two loops, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain. One, two, three chains. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the petal. I insert the hook into the middle of this petal, take the working loop, pull it through. Insert the hook into the stitch, make double crochet. One. Make the second double crochet into the same stitch. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch, make double crochet. And make the second double crochet into the same stitch. Chain of three, one, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a slip stitch. You can begin the next petal, so continue working in this way till the end of this pattern. I have done the second petal. Let's stop at this point. I leave this 
loop. I remove the pin and continue work with other color of yarn. Make a slip stitch into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over the hook twice. Insert the hook into the third stitch. One, two, three. Make treble crochet. I insert the hook into the stitch. Take the work and loop pull it through like this. Make a chain and work into the chain space. Make single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert the hook into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. I pin it. I remove the pin and work with white color of yarn. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make a slip stitch. Let's begin first petal, make double crochet, I turn the work, one, and make the second one into the same stitch, and the third one into the same stitch. Make double crochet into the next stitch, one, two, chain of three, remove the hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. The first petal is ready, so continue working till the end of this flower. You should make flowers as many times as you need. I have done the bottom part of the neckline. Now I will work with top part of the neckline. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Remove the hook. Insert the hook into the loop. Take the working loop, pull it through. Chain of two, one, two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make double crochet. Chain of two. Yarn over the hook and double crochet into the chain space. Chain one, two. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Chain of two, one, two. Make 
make double crochet into the stitch so continue working in this way till the end of this row I'm about to complete this row make the last double crochet I do not finish this stitch yarn over the hook insert the hook into the chain space make double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook the first row of the trim is ready chain one two to bring up the yarn insert the hook into the next chain space make double crochet chain of two one two work in backwards direction yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous row chain of two one two yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the stitch of the previous row here what we have so continue working in this way till the end of this row the second row is almost ready pull up the working loop remove the hook insert the hook into the petal take the working loop pull it through the second row is done begin the third row I turn the work chain two to bring up the yarn turn the work I will join to the flower yarn over the hook insert the hook into the petal make double crochet turn the work make single crochet yarn over the hook make two double crochet into the chain space yarn over the hook insert the hook into the stitch make double crochet two double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into the stitch so continue working in this way till the end of this row let's complete this row together insert the hook into the chain space make single crochet let's work with back side of the neckline I will work with single crochet make single crochet into the each chain space a number of stitches you determine by yourself I did two single crochet then single crochet into the chain space then two single crochet into the chain space 
like this. We have done trim for the neckline in the back side. Work with front side. I will begin from this point and make a very single crochet trim. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make chain to bring up the yarn. Make a very single crochet. And so on. I have done trim. Then you should make trim for the bottom part of the blouse and shoulder. In this case I did double crochet and row of reverse single crochet trim. Today we have learned how to make beautiful summer blouse in Irish lace technique. While making the blouse you can experiment and change color of yarn, change number of flowers, chains and stitches. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow us in social media and don't forget please write comment below the video. Thanks for watching!